trees. Okay, right now as you look out there, there's 73 acres of prairie right here. Okay, this is 20 acres of these marvelous trees right here. And then Margaret and I have 200 acres, and that's totally prairie and trees. And our prairie is tall grass prairie, where um, we take kids from the churches and kids from the schools, because we are retired teachers, we take them through the tall grass prairie. It's way above their heads. I wish we could have gotten back there today. Um, and uh, they can pretend that they're Laura Ingalls Wilder and get a taste for Laura and what it must have been like not to be able to see through the grasses. This is a short grass. It has 16 forbs in it, 16 kinds of flowers that flower starting early in the spring. And the asters just finished flowering out there. So that's kind of pretty. But the, the, uh, they weren't recommending forbs when we planted, so we've got this tall uh, blue stem. Blue stem. Right. Well, the first thing that happened, of course, is the land is totally put into one field of one kind of crop. This year it happens to be soybeans. So it, and that's happening all over, as you know, all over the countryside. And so that's one of the reasons for the problems in the river. When 120 acres get those, get those what do we had in September? 12, 14 inches of rain. Yeah. You're going to see what it does to one little people's but the devil's drop-off didn't always used to be here. Um, at one time, the farm fields on all three sides were cleared come fall, and so there was plenty of runoff. And when we were growing up, this was just a shallow little brook coming from on top. But as the land was cleared and, and the kind of farming that's going on now occurred, um, the huge gorges began to develop. One coming from the north, one coming from the southeast. But imagine, there was a little country road on the other side. It no longer ceases to exist. And the, um, uh, the land continues to cave in. Uh, but in the last few years, there's grassland on all but 120 acres. And so the amount of runoff, even in a, a week like we've had this past couple of weeks, uh, with 10, 12 inches of rain, the runoff has just dropped away. Very little. So our dream is that this will eventually pretty much heal itself so that the geese up there don't look down and wonder what's going on. <laughs> but again, you'll notice there are no old trees along here, and this is where the road was. And on the other side, the road has ceased to exist. It's dropped off into the ravine. But this very same thing is going on up and down the Minnesota River Valley, wherever land is allowed to lay completely bare and fallow during the winter time, especially. The 20 year old, there were two roads coming down to the river, okay, of three. But a road coming down on this side, and that's where that huge washout is now, and a road coming down on this side. They were pretty much used by the loggers and my the, the uncles and the grandpas and that kind of thing taking wood out. So I can remember bringing the tractor down and a car, but the car would have been lower, but you know a tractor has the tall exhaust, and bringing the case tractor underneath this trestle. So we have to talk, we have to speak of 15 feet from the base. Now this part of the trestle has never been raised but the railroad track is continually being raised and more rock being placed under it. But this has been here um, since before 1900, this limestone right here. So anyhow, that's the story. I can still see the case tractor there as we were going underneath and then go up the other side and uh, down to <laughs> our front yard. <laughs> down in the river right there. That's one of the last Kentucky coffee bean trees right there. It was up here. Okay, what I'm saying is we have three acres over the years. We have three acres right here. Okay, now the old river, you see that band of tall trees up there? The old river ran there. And its width was about to these trees right here. And you don't have to believe that. That's the way it was. Okay, as a as a 20-year-old, we fished down there into the river. Well, 
into the river is now in the mountains. Okay. Um, 1993 made the big change. It took the riparian growth off of the river bank and made it accessible to a number of forces, which I'll show you in just a second. But it's hard to believe Uncle Tom farmed there, three acres, brought the old plow down and plowed it and farmed it. Um, and it's just here. Mary and Francis are here guarding. They're guarding the here. <laughs> we had hoped to make it one more year. And then we're going to have to have the sour place up there. 